Looks for Mo Salah. Kept himself on. Mo Salah scores. And that's it. 90th minute. I don't even know what's happening in this game. Outside the box. Goes for goal. Gavi, oh my god! That is a potential goal of the season contender from Gavi. All right, guys, I've got an explanation to make, and I think you guys deserve it. I have, in essence, ruined what this series was all about, which was a realistic approach to, you know, saving Barcelona. I'll be honest, I did ruin that by signing the likes of Messi and Salah. I do have an explanation. I don't think it's good enough, but I think you guys deserve to know, and we'll be talking about it in this episode. So, in essence, the reason why I signed Messi and Salah to just speed track the process of this career mode is because I'm going to be ending it after season two. I decided to do that after season one. And the reason is I genuinely feel overworked right now. I'm uploading on my second channel. I've got the fixing series, the creator club, the Monday takeovers, Facebook as well, but I'm uploading pretty much on the daily and it's taking a toll. And so I decided season two is going to be the last season for Barca. And th then I'm just going to move to doing one career mode at a time, which I think is just the better approach rather than having you guys wait a long time between episodes. So that's kind of why I signed Salah and Messi so we can speed track the process and at least have a good ending with this Barca career mode. And I know that's not a good apology because I promised y'all something and I didn't deliver on it. I promised y'all a realistic approach to saving Barca and to my credit I'll say this the first season we kept it realistic. You can't deny that. You just can't deny that. First season we kept things very realistic and it was a lot of fun but I just realized I had to make a decision whether I wanted to continue the creator club or the Barca series and right now I genuinely feel emotional attached to the creator club series that I'd rather do that more often and we'll wrap up the Barca save in a couple of seasons so that's what we're doing guys we're wrapping the Barcelona series after this season and hence why I signed Messi and Salah to wrap things up because if you look at the team we had there's no way we're getting a good ending with the regular Barca team that we had at the start of season two we had to make signings like this to at least give us a shot at having a good ending for this save and that's why I moved away from the realism but it does that it, you guys I know I know I don't deserve your forgiveness because I promised you all something and I didn't deliver I'll make it up to you guys by doing a couple of amazing U3 build challenges and all we'll, we'll, we'll get that done but yeah I, I should have I probably should have started the Barca career mode after I finished the creator club that was a mistake on my part I should have given it the time it deserves but yeah anyways that's kind of my explanation had to speed track the progress of this Barca save so I can just give myself a bit more time because I just feel like doing two career modes at the same time is a lot of work plus the second channel the Facebook stuff the seat fixing stuff and all it, it was getting hectic so hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from if not it's perfectly fine I get you all I promised you all something and I couldn't deliver I think it's the first time that's happened on this channel because I think in all my previous career modes we've kept things not completely realistic but to an extent there's been a good line of progression and it's it's been a lot of fun so this time I messed up, it's on me, but hopefully we can get past it. We're anyway wrapping this series up at the end of the season. I'm just hoping we can all get together and hopefully push for titles because I don't want to end the Barca career mode without winning some stuff. And now the storyline has changed. We're seeing Messi lift that Champions League with Barca one last time. So that's pretty much why I signed Messi because I knew I couldn't give you all the complete rebuild of Barca that deserved five, six seasons. So giving you all an alternate ending with Messi returning I thought was the best option. Maybe it wasn't what you guys wanted, but I just thought it might head it made a lot of sense but yeah we're ending the series at the end of this season and then moving on to you doing the creative club more often that's the plan but hopefully we can band together and achieve a bit of success with Barca we're not doing a press conference in today's video because I basically addressed what all the comments were all about in this early video segment I feel like I'm doing these talking to you guys segments more often now because of all the controversy I'm creating anyways but yeah I thought you guys deserved an explanation. It's basically because I needed to speed track the progress of this save and plans changed. It's just I'm a bit too overworked with all the career modes we've got running and all the series is. Facebook stuff, second channel, but yeah. All I can say is I'm sorry, and that's why we're wrapping up Barca in season two. But I'm hoping we can all come together and lift some trophies with Barca, because that's what this is all about, ultimately. Drop a like on the video. I know uh, a lot of you guys dislike the last video. It's cool. Constructive criticism. I appreciate that there were no personal attacks on me in the last one. I'll be honest, the comment section was clean. You guys were giving your criticism and explaining to me what y'all were annoyed about. And I get it. I completely get it. And I knew this was going to happen, but I had no choice. I knew I had to end 
the boss of career mode at season two to just give myself a bit of breathing room to like make content at a steady pace rather than overwork myself because I produce the best content when I give my videos time and that's kind of why I decided to end boss season two. Hopefully you guys get it. Drop a like if you do. It's it's fine if you don't. It's all good. Subscribe and let's begin today's episode of the boss of career. Not gonna lie, I genuinely blame Ansu Fati for all this chaos. If he had not gotten the ACL, good lord, we'd all be fine. We'd all be fine. I wouldn't have signed Messi. Ansu Fati, it's on you. By the way, apparently people let me know that he didn't wear number 28. He wore 31 and 22. We'll give him 31 for now because he's not going to be playing anymore this season. Might as well just let Messi have number 10. We got a Classico, by the way, in this episode. Oh boy. Trans window. I'm not making any more signings. I'm happy with the team. We've got Real Madrid in this one. That should be a ton of fun. Late of the episode, though, amidst all the chaos, Gavi just scored a potential goal of the season contender, but I think nobody even watched that or nobody acknowledged that. Poor old Gavi. Man just scored an absolute banger against Atletico and nobody even cared because of my stupidity and signing Messi. Anyways, a bit of credit to Gavi. Player of the episode goes to him. Anyways, guys, we now have to play Real Madrid in the Clasico. And as you guys know, this is the last season. I want to win La Liga. We started off the season so well that I thought we were going to win La Liga, but then everything just went, yeah, bonkers and ape shit, you could say. And yeah, now Atletico Madrid are leading La Liga by four points and I don't like it. We got to keep winning. We've got a Clasico at home. Need a result here. Okay, another decision I'm making is kind of removing season goals from this save and bringing back Frankie de Jong, so Puig returns as well. Reason being, I feel like doing this city thing to release players, it's too much of a meme thing. And although it works in a certain kind of series maybe, but in when you're trying to do a realistic career mode and you're forced to release a player like Frankie de Jong, who is such a big part of the storyline, I don't think it works. So that's one more thing I've learned is figuring out how to make season goals work in a series like this. And I think we're not going to have them until the end of the season or this series. And I need to rework how they work because releasing players kind of like makes the series go away from its storyline and forces me to try and compensate by signing other players that make it eventually unrealistic. So yeah, that's something I wanted to say. So we're going to be using Frankie de Jong again. And yeah, that's the plan. I do feel like I'm really bad at explaining stuff. So in the comment section, if you guys are still unclear my reasons, just ask me in the comments. I'm going to be replying to comments in this episode because I feel like I need to because it's much easier getting my point across that way. So let me know in the comment section if um, you guys have any questions about why I did what. So yeah. Anyways, for this game, I am going to give Pedri a bit of rest and play Danny Olmo there. Also, Salah. Oh, we might have to bring on Maldonado at some point. Oh, you know what? Salah sits this one out and Maldonado starts. We're doing it, boys. We are doing it. Plus, Eric Garcia over Araujo for fitness. I know it's a bit risky doing all these changes, but fitness, we got to do it. We just had a big game against Atletico. That's the Real Madrid team we're facing. Oh, they do look good. We got to win this Clasico to keep pace with Atleti. Let's get into it. Clasico against Real Madrid. Messi's first Clasico now that he's back at Barcelona. Maldonado starting up top as well. Let's do this, boys. It's our final season with Barca. Got to get results. We absolutely got to get a win here. Because right now, Atletico Madrid are moving away. Memphis gets taken down. Have you guys noticed the AI being super aggressive? That was a super aggressive challenge, by the way. Oh, my God. Really was. Yellow card. Free kick for us. I don't think free kicks are OP anymore on FIFA 22. Messi, though, takes this one. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. First free kick with Leo Messi, and that was pretty close. Danny Olmo. I see Gaia making a good run. Love to see it. I'm going to play this one for Memphis. No, it falls for Maldonado. Heaviest touch in the world, and then he trips like a moron. Maldonado, what are you doing? I'm trusting you in one of the biggest games of the season, and you do that. Anyways, we get it back with Leo Messi. On the turn. Still Messi. Classic ball to the left back for Jose Gaia. Gaia with a difficult angle. And he's missed that. Can't believe it. As Benzema gets a booking for an earlier challenge. Feisty affair in the Classico. A lot of aggression. Two yellow cards for Real Madrid already. Mad. Good pass inside. Hazard. Ah, Dani Olmo does well. Messi. Maldonado. Oh, he's through. He's through. Are we going to actually see? Maldonado scored against Real Madrid. Difficult angle. I'm going to go for it still. How does Koulibaly get a block in? Messi though. Classico. Can't shoot. I was going to say Messi though. Classico goal, but yeah, that didn't happen. By the way, the 4 1 2 1 2 narrow makes you be so leaky at the back. Like, it's actually mad. Defensively, this formation is just not good at all. But offensively, it's so effective in terms of like finding spaces 
and creating chances that it kind of makes it worth using it, honestly. Benzema, the king, or Eric Garcia, he's got a big task with the absence of Araujo to deliver in this game. And so far, I think he's done a good job. Messi now, out wide for Serginho Des. One thing I've noticed with Messi, we do end up linking up with the fullbacks so often. De Jong, though, this time, firing this one for Jose Guy up, but giving it away. Not a bad pass, not a good pass. Danny Olmo looking for Kessi. Inside for Maldonado. Trying to scoop it, but didn't work. It's been a very intense classical, guys, and we can't drop points here. We need to get that goal from somewhere. Pau Torres as well. Maldonado looking for Leo Messi. Ah, oh, heavy touch from Leo. Halftime, nil-nil at the classical. I don't like it. We've definitely dealt with Real Madrid really well, but need more in the attack, and maybe that more is Mo Salah. Time to bring him on, I guess, for Maldonado. Actually, Messi's struggling. Messi really is struggling. Oh, I don't want to put Messi there. We might have to bring off Messi because his stamina seems super low. Salah at Cam. That doesn't work. What about Memphis at Cam? Oh, that what He gets a plus six there. Okay. Maldonado is right footed as well. So we'll do this for the second half. No Messi. Is Gavi on the bench? I quite... I, I want Gavi. I want Gavi instead of De Jong for this one. Let's trust Gavi. I don't like this. I don't like this. Karim Benzema. We can't let him put a ball back in. Finds Eden Hazard. He's done me there. Unai Simon with a massive save to prevent anything from happening there. That was huge. That was huge. And there's the goal scorer in real life for the Classico. Oh my. Alaba. That's a good ball in. Good ball in. Benzema's header. Nah, dude. Nah, man. We can't afford to lose this. Karim Benzema scores 1-0 for Real Madrid. We got to rally and find a goal from somewhere. A loss here will be catastrophic for our title chances. Gavi, Mo Salah, Maldonado, I'm liking this. Now it's Jose Gaia, back inside for Danny Olmo. Memphis Depay, doing really well, skipping past challenges. Danny Olmo again, Memphis Depay, Mo Salah, still Salah, goes down inside the box, no penalty for that. Serginho Dest, still on it. We're passing the ball around really well. We just can't find an opening. Maldonado finds that opening and he scored in a Classico. We've worked the ball around so well in the box. And almost immediately after conceding, we get the goal back. And it's the youngster himself. Maldonado scoring in an El Classico at a young age of 17. How insane is that? Wow. Can't judge players by their overall, man. Absolutely cannot. Incredible movement. Left foot finishes well. Let's go. Maldonado scores 1-1 one, one against Real Madrid. Now we just need that one goal in the last 30 minutes and we'll be back on track. What a way to get back into the game. We moved the ball around so well there in such a pressure situation. Gavi looking for Mo Salah. Ball put back in for Maldonado. Could be his second in the game. The header was so further away from net. That should have been a goal. Maldonado was completely free. How did he put that header there of all places? Incredible. We go on the attack again. Real Madrid look exposed. It's Mo Salah. Oh, it's simple football. Mo Salah comes off the bench and does that. We work the ball around so well there. Mo Salah, Memphis Depay playing at Cam is a bit OP, I must say. Really OP. Lovely ball through for Salah, who does the job as usual. Cannot deny how good this man is for me. Best player in the world right now. Danny Olmo is also having a really good game. Memphis, Salah. Bang. Simple goal from Barca. We've turned things around in this second half. What a second half it's been in this classical. 20 minutes. Got to hold on to this result. Oh, they've got a chance to get the equaliser. Casemiro's shot flashes wide. That was a powerful effort. We certainly got a bit lucky there. Mo Salah. That's a smart release for Jose Gaia. What was that for a pass? Literally gifting the ball for Lucas Vasquez. We're making so many silly mistakes right now. Can't let that cost us. Pau Torres as well to get the ball to Danny Olmo. And now we can just keep it. No, we can't. we got to give it away silly in a cheap way. Five minutes, guys. Please, we hold on to this. It'll be massive three points for us in La Liga. Full and Mendy of all players making a run past everybody. Back for Hazard. Cruz. Hazard again. Challenging Serginho Des. That's got to be our ball. It is. We do get it away from the danger zone and we can move it away. Mo Salah looking to start something. I'm going for the long ball for Maldonado. Oh, he's managed to find that. He's managed to find that. Traps it forward. Maldonado going for the chip. Oh, come on, Courtois. Courtois had to ruin his day, but that should be it for the final whistle. Salah going in with a challenge. That's it for the game. We've just won the Classico. Maldonado and Salah scoring the goals for us. Huge three points in La Liga.
to keep the chase on. Next up is a game against El Shea away. We we can't we can't drop points. So I'm using my first team as well. Cannot drop points, and it's a 4-2 win. We'll absolutely take it. It's, it was needed. Gotta keep winning these kind of games if we want to win La Liga. So with those two results in La Liga, we're still four points off Atletico, but I think it's we can definitely come back from that. We've created a big gap between us and Real Sociedad. The title race, it's pretty clear. It's between us and Leti. Just gotta keep pushing. For now, we've got a Spanish Cup game against Girona, which we're gonna sim. It's the round of 32. Literally using my second team for this one against Girona, getting it out of the way. Hopefully we'll come away with a win. We do. Maldonado just keeps scoring a brace for him. Okay, I didn't know cup games are literally back-to-back -back in La Liga or in the Spanish league. In the Spanish... in Spain. We play Elche next. Okay. Once again, using a fair few of the second team players for this one, but I still reckon we should be able to get a win. I genuinely hate this game, you know. How have we been knocked out of the cup by Osasuna? Unbelievable. Well, no Spanish cup for us in this series. We've won the Super Cup twice, but no Spanish cup. In a way, good, because I can focus on La Liga and the Champions League, and that's what matters. With that, guys, the transfer window has come to an end. No more transfers from us in this series, because I'm done. This is the last season. No more transfers. That's the what we're working with yeah i'm ready well back to playing la liga games next up we've got valencia at home gotta focus gotta rally and get the result here because let teachers keep winning i'm using gabby for this one because i genuinely just love using gabby he is so so good he's up to a 75 overall as well kind of want to use maldonado because why not we'll use him instead of depay for this one that's the team we're rocking Let's keep winning in La Liga. We need to keep pace with Atleti. All right, guys. We got to keep winning in La Liga. And by the way, soon Champions League returns as well. By the way, since this is the last season, I want to do everything it's possible to win the Champions League. I don't think, since we've only done like two career modes so far on FIFA 22, could be the first time we win the Champions League on FIFA 22. That'll be fun. Let's see, though. For now, focus is on this Valencia game. Got to get a result against them. Oh, Salah. Sliding this one for Maldonado. He just keeps creating chances for himself and he keeps scoring. Maldonado. Oh my god. Can you stop this guy? You just can't. Here of Carlos Puyol. The finishing of someone like David Villa. It's incredible how good this man is. Mo Salah with the assist. What a pass. But a solid, solid finish from our number 29 to put us 1-0 up against Valencia. Just the result we needed. His fifth goal in La Liga already. Marcos Andre going for goal. Oh, nice. Simon with a big save. Valencia aren't going to go down without a fight. That pass was not for Gavi, but he's managed to break through. And Gavi almost putting us 2 0 up. Former Barca player Silicon. I thought he had a game face, but I think he doesn't now. Still 1 0 Barca. Could have easily made it 2 0 there. We've got a corner. Messi with the set piece. We know he's good with set pieces. How Torres wins the header. I swear I've taken two corners with Leo Messi. And we've scored off both. One was Ronald Araujo's header. And the other one is Pau Torres. Centre-backs eating good. Courtesy of Leo Messi. 2 nil up against Valencia. We are cruising this game. Don't like this. Good pass. Ronald Araujo deals with that. But the chance still falls for them. Andre shoots. But Unai Simon is there to save us. And Was finally gets a booking for that challenge. Maldonado looking for Messi. Salah. Messi again. Salah gets taken out there. Messi still has it. Looks for Gavi, who's made a good run, goes for goal, falls for Salah, and there's no way Salah's missing from there. Gavi deserves so much credit for that. 3-0 in like 35 minutes. We've just blown Valencia apart. Salah showing that the number 11 is here to stay, and he's the man for the job. 3-0 up against Valencia. We've just killed this game. Might as well just jump to Sim and play another game in La Liga for this episode. Uh, how do I just jump to the final result? There you go. 3-0 is how the game ends. Salah could have scored another one. We'll, we'll take the wins in, the, in La Liga. We'll take the wins. Look at that, guys. Clean sheet leader in, of course, La Liga. Unai Simon with eight. What a signing. I think replacing Ter Stegen with him was just so, so amazing. Love it. Absolutely love it. We've got Hetafe now in La Liga. They are, of course, um, I think Hetafe are 19th in La Liga. So we can afford to play the likes of Maldonado and Gavi and still get a result through the quick sim and that's exactly what happens it was close but good to see maldonado score we'll take that 
Another La Liga game we're going to try and smash through is again 16th place. Granada, we're simming this with the first team. So tight, but we got it done. Danny Olmo and Demir scoring the goals for us. Ooh, interesting. You know what, guys? Um, we're in a position where our next game is the Champions League round of 16 against Olympique. You know what, guys? We're in a position where our next game is the Champions League round of 16. The knockout rounds begin now. And let's do this. Let's play the first leg against well we'll find out now who will be up against we finish first in the group and we'll be up against olympic leo depay playing against his former team this should be exciting napoli madrid psg leicester liverpool milan interesting ties involved let's do this boys let's do this we take on leo i absolutely love gavi and i just want to continue playing him the man is just a bit broken in this game for me. So, apart from that, I'm keeping Maldonado on the bench because I feel like Depay deserves to play against this former club. He's back visiting the Lyon Stadium. So, that's our team for this Champions League knockout game against Lyon. Let's get a, get the job done in the first leg. Come on. Ah, oh, chance for Olympic Lyon. Paqueta off the crossbar. Literally, in the Champions League, we could have conceded the first goal right there. And that would have put all the pressure on us. And still, they might have a chance. Jose Gallard as well. What have we just done? Pau Torres, get the ball away. We force it to play out from the back and we survive that. But man, was that stressful. I'm just going to get the ball to the right side with Pedri. Just spreading it so well for Gavi. Now it's Messi. Messi looking for Memphis Depay. And we've actually scored. What a pass from Leo Messi for Memphis against this former club. Can't celebrate. Leo is where Memphis found himself. And yeah, just can't celebrate against this former club. 1-0, an early lead for Barcelona against, of course, Lyon. Messi with a sublime through ball for Depay, who just striked at home with a finesse shot. Lovely stuff from minutes away from conceding to actually scoring and taking the lead. Perfect. Genio Destinasi, Messi making a good run into the box, controls it well and slots it home. Leo Messi in the Champions League back for Barcelona. His first Champions League game in a Barca shirt and he's out here banging the goals. Leo just can't keep up with us. I, I'm genuinely telling you, this 4 one 2 one 2 narrow formation, if you can avoid conceding with it, it is just so OP for creating chances. It gets your fullbacks involved. It gets players in the box as well for the crosses. It just works so, so well. I've noticed Dest and Gaia being so important for the team after we've switched to this formation. 2 nil up. Olympic Leo just cannot compete. I reckon we'll be able to get the job done in the first leg itself at this rate. We're just too strong against Olympic Leo. They're just not at our level. Borga Iglesias. Awad going for goal. Forcing a save out of Unai Simon, but nothing to trouble him at all. Chance for Toliso. Kessi doing well. And now Leon just keeping the ball really well. This is where we struggle because we don't have men back defending. But Iglesias can take shots like that and we will be, you know, no problem whatsoever. Shakiri ball inside. Unai Simon has just made a huge save. A goal there would really boost their confidence and help them get back in the game. We just prevented that from happening. Huge, huge keeping from Unai Simon again. Halftime, Champions League, knockouts, round of 16. We're leading 2-0. Lyon have had their chances. I don't want to let them get back in the game. We've defended really well. They've hit the crossbar though, so this game could have gone really differently. But we're playing well. Second half, let's keep at it. Guy Iglesias with a chance. Falls for Centeles, Bruno, Borja Iglesias, Araujo going with the challenge and he defended that brilliantly. Let's go. Oh, come on. I didn't even, I didn't expect that to go and really didn't. Lucas Paqueta with the goal out of nowhere. Leon get a goal back. Didn't expect that pass to go through. 2-1 and Leon back in it. I guess it's deserved because they have been creating a fair bit of opportunity. So can't really complain. It is, it's 2-1. We're still leading though. We're still leading in this first leg. So... It's, it's all good. Need to make it 3-1 though to get a bit of security. Actually, might be worried about defending and not being too all right now. Pau Torres and Dest do deal with that, but that was a bit stressful. Gaia looks for Pedri, sliding in to find Salah. Inside for Messi, finesse shot, blocked. Memphis shoots. Come on, he's got to be doing a bit better. Looking for Gavi, striking from distance and Gavi almost scoring another screamer. He's got an incredible shot on him, guys. The ball just dips so well when he shoots. Here we go now. Pedri with pace. I'm liking this. Ball back in for Mo Salah. 
Wasn't the best of balls. He fights to get it, but he commits a foul in the process. Still only 2-1. I think it's time to make some changes. Gonna sub off Depay for Maldonado. I think it's smart to do that. Also, De Jong for Gavi. Gavi's had a good game, though. Good ball into the box. Get it away, Serginho. We don't. Awad has it. Araujo. Come on. That is so silly. We've been dominating Lyon. Oh, they've made it too all. Are we really gonna choke already to Lyon? Nah, man. That is oh, so frustrating. So freaking frustrating. Dest looks for Frankie de Jong here. Does well to find Leo Messi. What can Messi do? L looking to open up a bit of space. Releasing it for Pedri. Now Jose Gaia. Back inside for Messi. Mo Salah. Can't find that space because they defended so well. Lyon is so annoying. Lucas Paqueta. That's a good ball and they've got a chance to win the game. No way. We've bottled. 3-2. Tolisso scoring at the death. I can't believe I've choked this. Nah, man. Second leg. Already we're having to do comebacks. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's it. The ref's going to blow the whistle now. It's done. We've lost 3-2 in the first leg. No away goals as well. Second leg. Everything and more to play for. Wow. Leo have beaten us 3-2 after us being 2-0 up. Look at them celebrate as well. I just don't get it. How did we do this? Signing all these unrealistic players still won't change how bad I am at this game. Next episode, we've got a job to do in the Champions League. Obviously, we've got a job to do in La Liga. But oh, look at this. The gap is down to two points, which means La Liga is in our hands now. At least that's a bit of good news. Later of the episode, for me, I thought Maldonado was superb in this one, guys. So, so effective. Gotta give him credit for that. So, player of the episode, for me, has to be Maldonado. And this is where we're going to be ending off today's episode of the Barca Career Mode. Hopefully my explanation on why I did this. Because I kind of want to end the series after season 2. It makes sense to you guys, hopefully. Yeah, I should have told you guys at the start itself. But oh well, it is what it is. Drop like on the video if you're enjoying the struggle. Because it still continues in season 2. Subscribe if you're new around here as well. And I'll catch you guys for the next one soon. Peace. By the way, keep up to date with the Creator Club series. Because trust me, that is going to be epic.